So my personal thought is that this this technology has about five years to live. What is fingerprinting? How does it work? How did you accidentally <laughs> discover like one of the biggest technology right. to prevent revenue leakage? So fingerprinting, it means giving your every single browser a unique ID. Mm -hmm. If you give a browser an identifier, then you can basically track what this browser does, what their interests are, and you know exactly each browser is unique, so you can you can have all these machine learning algorithms that predict what they're gonna buy and where they're gonna go and adjust your pricing or do whatever marketing or whatever trickery you, you might want to do, right? <laughs> Works by collecting um, a lot of information from your browser, uh, such as uh, the browser version name, um, operating system, user agent, IP address, whatever they can get, whatever you can get. Even dimensions you mentioned. Dimensions. Screen like, aspect ratio, like, like resolution. Resolution, color, gamut, gambit. Um, and then they put all together, mash it into one single um, hash that makes it unique across all browsers on the, on the world. Um, it's, it's working well, uh, although there are more and more movement towards preventing uh, fingerprinting. So my personal thought is that this, this technology has about five years to live. Why? There are very legitimate use cases for browser fingerprinting. For example, you have a bank account, you log in online and you want the, uh, when you click on remember me, like on the login box, what happens is uh, the, the bank takes a fingerprint of your device and stores it. If you log in again, it'll let you through. But if somebody else logs in or or if a change in the browser happens, it'll say, wait a second, this isn't the same fingerprint that we have. This is an account takeover protection, a very legitimate case for my bank account. Yes, please fingerprint my device. But uh, for surveillance marketing to jack up with prices, right? To market products, to, you know, uh, try to sell me stuff. Uh, I don't know, right? That's unfair. It's too much. So. Um, there's also another one for uh, a good use case for, for um, maybe not to protect the consumer, but to protect, well, sometimes to protect the consumer, but um, uh, 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 bot detection, bot detection and bot prevention. Uh, do you know that there are a lot of people who get hold of, uh, who keep trying credit cards online and they may accidentally guess one that's yours and they just go on website after website, whoever, whoever has a credit card box anywhere online. They go and they try to input one credit card, it's called credit card stuffing. They try one after the other until they get a hit and then they just try to buy as much as possible with that or transfer money. So there are legitimate use cases. Uh -huh.